guys, it's Melissa. I just want to do a demo of a uh, foundation that I just picked up. I'm going to wear it throughout the day and kind of take it for a test run, see if the color's okay. I did pick up the Fit Glow Beauty Vita Active Foundation, and I picked this up in the shade 1.5. Now, I did get this off of the Safe and Chic website, and I'll link everything down below, but if you open this product, you're not able to return it. So what they did was send me a sample of the shade, and I'm going to try this. I also picked up, I'll just show you guys the foundation. It comes in a pump, if I can get this out of here, it's kind of <laughs> stuck in there. So this is what the foundation looks like. You guys can see the pump here. I'm not going to use it because as I said, uh, if once I use this, I'm not able to return it, but it does have airless pump. Uh, so it continues to dispense the product. So I'm going to put that back in the box. And the other product that I did pick up was the Fit Glow. Uh, this is the uh, Teddy foundation brush. I got the uh, flat top. The other one was slightly rounded, but I thought this would be great for applying the foundation. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply the uh, foundation with the brush because I'm going to keep this. And uh, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. This is kind of... Um, I'm just going to apply... Now, I did also receive a sample uh, of the shade 1, and I got that from Eco Diva uh, Beauty when I placed an order. So, uh, I'm going to insert photos. I do have uh, swatched on one side of my face the 1.5 and then also the 1 in the uh, foundation and I couldn't tell a difference so I'm not sure um, if it really matters which shade I go with so that's one reason I thought okay I'll apply one shade to my entire face and see if there's any difference then and I'm sorry if there's a glare in my camera. Like I said, I kind of have to work with the setup I have. The lighting's really not that great yet. Um, but I am applying this. It's uh, 1045 right now. It's Saturday, so we kind of take it easy. We've already gotten our homesteading projects done, and I don't like to put on any type of makeup before we go out and do that. Um, so, so far it looks pretty even. The brush is doing a really great job. Uh, this foundation is supposed to do great things. It's almost, uh, it's skincare and foundation all in one so uh, you guys know I'm a multitasker so I like I really like products that do multiple things I'm not one that likes to apply 30 different products to get a result that's just not me I'm like I said I'm a homesteader I'm a mom I'm I like to get it done and go so so this is the foundation It looks very natural to me in the setting that I'm in right now, and uh, I don't see, we'll see how well it uh, plays up. It might be a little dark right now. This is the second to the lightest shade. The one is the lightest shade, and so this is what... The color looks like and I'm just going to show you guys the difference this is the one and this is the 1.5 so if you guys can I'm gonna there we go a little bit in the light uh, show you this has a little bit the one has a little bit more of a yellow undertone 
uh, the 1.5 is more of a pink undertone, but I do know the 2 is extremely yellow, uh, so that's definitely not going to work. So we'll see how this uh, pans out throughout the day. The only thing I have on my face so far, I did have to prep. Uh, I do get dry patches once I wake up and wash my face. Those dry patches, if I don't apply anything on them, uh, they're going to be very, uh, it's, it's almost white as far as how dry the area is. And so the first thing that I did this morning was use the My Shell. This is the Fruit Enzyme Scrub. Uh, I use that on my face in the morning. And then I applied a new product that I'm testing out is this, uh, California Pure Naturals. This is a baby product, but it's the Organic Baby Soothing Aloe Hydrator. Uh, it does come in a pump, and I will let you guys know this is a great hydrator as far as a, as far as a moisturizer, uh, and it is a certified gluten-free product, so I thought I would try that out, and I was really looking for something different, uh, kind of balancing out uh, the moisture in my skin, so I thought that would work really well. So, again, this is the... Uh, Fit Glow, uh, it's the Vita Active Foundation in shade 1.5. So uh, that's, we'll test it out and see how it goes. Uh, check back in with you guys later. Hi guys, I'm back to check in. It is now a little after one. It's around 1.30, I believe is what the clock says. And I just want to give you an update on what's going on with the foundation. Uh, if you guys can see this, I think it looks very natural indoors. I'm gonna insert a clip of me being outdoors. And this is the reason I don't wanna wear this anymore the rest of the day, because I don't feel it's a good match for me outside. Again, like I said, it looks great indoors, and I love the color. I think it does very well with my complexion. The pictures, uh, I hope I've either inserted those or I'll insert those now, look very good. But I do not believe that the 1.5 is going to be my shade. I'm going to end up returning the full size in that. And the next one I'm going to try is VF1. This is the lightest shade. Um, I believe they list this as fair, the V, and I'm hoping this is not going to end up like the 100% pure foundation. You know, that foundation runs for $45. I do not have a great color match. The creme in the powder foundation works really well for me, but in any of the liquids, it is too orange and it oxidizes very orange. The best shade that I can find runs a little bit pink and that's Alpine Rose and they don't have that in every type of formula. So it's very hard for me to find a match. I am always on the lighter end of pale. <laughs> so the, you know, whatever the lightest color is, if that doesn't work for me, I really don't have an option. Hopefully this Fit Glow is not like that, but I'm really looking forward to a foundation that also has healthy skin benefits with it. It helps improve skin, collagen, fine lines, uh, gets rid of, or is supposed to help reduce sun and aging spots. That was what sold me on this, but I only have one other color option that's the lightest, and that's the VF1. So I'm gonna give that one a try. Uh, I have not put anything on my face, just to let you guys know, I am wearing um, Red Apple Lipstick in Mayberry, and I am using the Lash Mascara um, from Red Apple Lipstick as well. So far, just to let you guys know a little bit of the foundation, to me, it does feel a little tacky. I can feel it lightly on my face. You guys know I don't like to feel foundation on my face at all, and I can feel this a little bit. It just feels like something sitting on my um, on top of my skin. It's not unpleasant, though. I think I could deal with that if I can get the color right, and I think if I decide to go with this, it might be something that I want to set with a powder foundation, and I will see how that goes. I'm going to try the uh, color VF1, see if that's a better match for me, and then maybe try to apply powder. Sometimes if I do that, I'm going to feel it, and I'm not going to want to keep that foundation on at all. So uh, this is a trial and error, and it is a try on with me, so we're going to see how this goes. Uh, I think that the brush, this is, I believe, was this is like this is $40 to $50, and I thought that was a really expensive uh, price for a brush, but this applied the foundation very smoothly, very evenly. Uh, it does have almost an airbrush type finish, so this is, I mean, it is super soft, and it applied the foundation really well. I think this, believe it or not, 
Uh, I might have brushes that are similar to this, but this did an excellent job and this might be my go-to. And I'm gonna try this with uh, powder foundations, but that might be my brush of choice. But if you're paying that much for a brush, it better do some fabulous things. And uh, honestly, I don't think anything I have really works as well as that. So uh, I'm very pleased with the brush so far. Foundation, if I can get my color match uh, correct, then uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, But other than that, uh, I do have a little bit of wear around my nose. Uh, I'm surprised I don't have any around my chin, believe it or not, because uh, this is a little more oily, even though I, <laughs> I'm using exfoliator because I get extremely dry, uh, which is a good thing because then I think it's hydrating this area, which, um, it, like I said, if I can find a foundation that works, I think this is going to be a plus for me. Um, and again, just a little bit of wear around the nose, but uh, uh, spring is showing up here in Minnesota, so there is something in the air right now that's causing a little bit of allergic flare-up. And so, yeah, I have been uh, using a tissue around my nose, so that's completely acceptable to me. Again, I think if I found the right foundation and set it with a little bit of powder, that might tear cake care of that um, issue. But uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, check in a little later and then we'll apply the VF1 and then we'll go from there for the rest of the day and see how this one uh, works. So check back in with you guys in a little while. Hi guys, I'm back and now I'm going to try the sample of the Fit Glow Beauty Foundation, the Vita Active Foundation in VF1. So we're going to try this and see how this works. And I did, in between uh, the VF 1.5 and the 1, I did cleanse my face with the uh, EO Products Coconut Cleansing Milk. This is amazing. This took off the makeup fabulously. I love this stuff. I will definitely be repurchasing, and I am down to here, so this will definitely be a rebuy. I have my Fit Glow Foundation Brush, and so let's go ahead and get started and we'll do the same thing. I do have a mirror beside me here, so um, either that or I'm using the camera up here and we'll apply the same, the same amount or try to that I did before and see if uh, this color match is a little better for me. So, and I'm gonna use my mirror here, hopefully not causing a glare. Oops move my hair back there and we'll see how this applies uh, like I said inside the foundation seemed like a very very good match for me but outside I don't know I got my husband because I'm like you know $55 if I'm gonna keep this it better be a perfect match for me. I don't want to have to worry about any uh, demarcation lines, you know, around the jawline. And I, I did really well blending that before, so um, that's just not <laughs> not an attractive look. And again, if you're paying fifty five dollars, you don't want it to look like a five dollar drugstore product. Um, and I am so trying to get this to work because the appeal of the properties that are in this and I'm gonna go into detail about that um, after the try on to give you guys the full information but um, to me that was just a huge selling point because I'm like okay I don't have to apply like I said 30 different products I can do one uh, applying the foundation and done so again I this one appears to be good in or on camera. Uh, it, definitely the daylight outside is what makes a difference. And I'm telling you, this was an expensive brush, but good heavens, this is this performs beautifully in applying foundation. And I am just blown away. Um, so again, I do feel a little bit of the tackiness. I thought it would kind of, um, I thought maybe that's when I applied the 1.5 that that was just the foundation going on wet and that would disappear. But, you know, after wearing it a couple hours, it had not. And I know it has the benefits of um, different oils in it. And so um, that may not 
disappear altogether. But if I decide to keep one of these, I'm going to really try and see what happens if I use a setting powder. And I have the 100% bamboo, bamboo blur powder, which I think would be fabulous on top of this, or the Cover FX uh, setting powder. So I do have two that I could try um, and see how that works. So I'm going to do everything that I did before. Um, so that I get the full benefit. All I did, I'm applying my Red Apple lipstick again since I had to take off all my makeup before. So, pardon me. You guys know how much I love this mascara. I have never seen a mascara that made my eyelashes grow. And yes, I know that my eyelashes did come back after um, I was diagnosed and finally got rid of the gluten in my diet but oh boy this was a lifesaver when I got this and just making my lashes really really helpful or really really healthy <laughs> gonna put my lipstick back on and I just have a sample of this Mayberry but I really I really love this color And it is a go-to all year round. I don't, I think applied boldly, it makes more of a winter, definitely a holiday color, but lightly in, you know, just making a stain in the spring and summer months is just fabulous. I really like it. Now, on screen, I'm, I'm going to show you guys. I, I'm not sure if I've already inserted that picture uh, side by side, or actually it's a half where I did 1.5 on one side and one the shade one on the other side. And I couldn't tell the difference there. Uh, that's the reason I really wanted to do a full face and see if I could tell any difference when I took pictures that way. Um, I'm just gonna make sure my neck is blended one more time. So, but this color, I this looks amazing as well. So I'm gonna do a couple pictures outdoors and see, I'm gonna wear this for a little while. Uh, I wanna see if it oxidizes or changes at all. And then uh, just like I did before, um, two hours afterwards, I'm going to take pictures and see how it works and performs. So, um, so far everything looks good and uh, I'll check back with you guys in a little while. Hi guys, I'm back and I'm coming to you with the review. It is now after four o'clock, so I've been wearing the foundation in the shade VF1 for a couple hours now. And uh, I mentioned before that allergy season is going and I've been using a tissue around my nose. This color is so perfect that I don't notice any wear away of the shade or the color of the foundation I mean, it's just like a perfect match. So it blends in beautifully with my skin. Uh, you guys will be able to see with the swatches that I'm going to put up. And as far as uh, the shade of the color ranges outside, you will see the difference. And this, you know, even in indoor light, both the shades VF1 and 1.5 look like perfect matches for me. And the side-by-side -side that I have you cannot tell a difference with that, but when I apply it, the one color to my whole face and I go outside, that's when I know when the shade is correct for me. And the VF 1.5 is definitely too pink. It just is not going to work. So I have already requested, I sent an email to the company to request a refund and I'm going to send back the product, the uh, full bottle of the VF 1.5 uh, as, suggested they sent me the sample i used that i didn't use the uh full foundation at all so i should be able to return that with no problem i will let you guys know how the customer service uh goes this is the first time i have shopped with safe and chic and this is the first time i'm having to return something uh, i am going to keep the brush i think this brush is fabulous it is an expensive brush but you know what i most of my brushes are from eco tools and real techniques i buy them at target or for the company itself and they're in expensive brushes. They really are. They hold up beautifully. Uh, I haven't had any issue with any shedding or anything like that, but they're not, they don't perform as well as this. So this is definitely one that I'm going to keep and I really, really like. Um, let's, I'm going to do a trial of this with powder foundation and see how it performs with that. But so far with the Fit Glow foundation, I definitely see where this brush plays a very integral part in applying this foundation smoothly. I do not have any um, 
settling in lines. Uh, not that I have very many. I do have a couple around my eyes, but other than that, it's fine. Um, I do notice, I told you guys that I have a little bit of dryness here. I notice a little bit of clean here, but I also notice that my, that I don't want to say tackiness because that really, as the day has gone on, that's really not how it feels. It, I mentioned before that I could feel it on my face. I don't feel it on my face at all now unless I touch it. And then it just feels dewy, um, especially around my chin area. Um, a little bit right around my eyes, um, kind of between my nose and my eyes, that's a little dewy. Uh, so I am going to try to set this with a powder. I'll do that and then I'll check back in with you guys again. But like I said, this is kind of a trial and error sort of thing. So um, I'm going to do that and see what happens. I'll be right back. I am using the Eco Tools. This is the multitasking powder. I'm going to use this for setting and I am going to use the Cover Effects. This is the uh, matte setting powder in the shade White. So I love this because it has the little sifter or the locking sifter. And I'm going to apply it where I tend to get oily and just tapping it on. Focusing on the T-zone area under the eyes where I said I felt a little bit of doing this, not really tacky. And then I'm going to blend that around the rest of my face. Just, just very little product on my brush, but I feel a little bit more, I'm going to dip a little bit more product on that area that I did mention gets dry. Crazy enough, it gets oily throughout the day, but I'm just applying this. And as I mentioned earlier, I haven't done anything else on my face uh, as far as just the foundation. And now I'm trying uh, to set this with the powder. That did take down, took down that dewiness and uh, that little bit of tackiness. So the setting powder definitely works. Uh, what I'm going to do is go on a walk with my neighbor it's after 4 o'clock. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Check back in with you later. Bye, guys. Hi guys, I'm back for the final check-in for this evening. It's almost seven o'clock. Uh, I've gone on a walk with my neighbor. I have uh, finished dinner, so I'm going to fill you guys in on how the uh, sample of the VF1 foundation, this is definitely my shade of, of choice. It works for me. It looks good in the light. It looks natural. I This does feel weightless on my skin. I don't even know I have it on it. Now that happened after I applied a powder because I was getting a little bit of kind of tackiness in my t-zone area where I tend to get oily and then definitely on my chin. That has gone away since I applied a setting powder. Now I will say that since I applied the setting powder it did pick up a little bit of the flakiness that I was talking about where I tend to get dry around my mouth. Uh, the color looks great. I don't have any blush or anything like that. It's I'm sorry if the light you can see the the light from my mirror. Uh, the light outside my window is definitely fading and since I film with natural light this is why I'm going to do this now. Uh, the cover effects, the, this is a matte setting powder so it worked really well to take down that shine, anything that I was having um, with that foundation. I am sh for sure going to get the full size of the VF1 when I can. Um, that's, I think when I over time, the benefits will weigh better. Uh, the VF1 is fair with cool tones. The VF1.5 is light with cool tones, and it is more pink. Now, although I have pink in my skin tone, it is too pink for me. It does offer light to medium coverage, but not full. However, it does say that it's buildable. I have not tried, you guys know I don't like any heavy feeling or any feeling whatsoever of something on my skin. So I don't think I would like a uh, full coverage. This is, it's light coverage, but it covers the imperfections. It covers the flaws. I think it makes a beautiful application, especially with this brush. I raved about this brush. I highly recommend this. You get an airbrush look, it just, Oh, it performs beautifully. It blends easily into the skin 
not sitting on the top. Now remember, I did say I felt a little bit of that in the beginning, but once I set it, I, that went away. It says it's a satin matte, so it has a slight dewy finish, which is something that I experience. It's natural and a soft finish, and it doesn't cling to texture issues. Now that did not happen. I even you know, told you guys that I didn't notice any of that dryness or anything like that until I applied a setting powder. So that's when a little bit of the uh, flaking that I have around my mouth became noticeable, but not with the foundation. So I believe that it lives up to that claim. There are seven shades that are available. I now know that I am the lightest shade. So if you guys are like me and you've seen some of the other foundations that I use, that will help you in your determination of what shades you may need. It's 98% organic, 95% whole food based, vegan and cruelty free, and it is gluten free. It uh, has the uh, benefit factors that it has, vitamin C, botanical hyaluronic acid, and beta carotene improves skin clarity by reducing uneven skin and sun damage or hyperpigmentation. It plumps skin, boosts collagen. Daily use leaves skin clear, smooth, and radiant. So I think that's one of the factors that really made me want to purchase this. And like I said, $55 seemed like a very high cost for a foundation up front. But then when I was thinking of the other ones that I had purchased before, it's $45 for 100% pure. And none of the color ranges really work for me in that foundation. So now that I know that I have a foundation that really works for me, and not only is it a foundation, but it has skin benefit properties that are within it, it seems like a win-win because it's a one step and you're done type of product. It has seaweed to brighten the complexion and the beta carotene that's in it increases collagen production. So it's going to give you a youthful plumped appearance. I think that it did that. It has a dewy, not an overly like your, uh, like I mentioned, the T-zone being too shiny. The only reason I wanted to use a setting powder is I did notice a little bit of tackiness, but that may improve over time. This is just my first uh, my first opinion, my first review of this, and that, like I said, with my skin balancing out, if I continue to use this over time, that may uh, dissipate over, over time. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope everyone's having a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day, and enjoy your day. So I'll see you guys. Bye.